Madden 23 drops in about a week, so it's time to go over the five big things that still will not be in the new Madden game. These are things that people have been asking about for years or maybe even more recently, and they're wondering, are they going to be in the game or not? Because it helps determine whether or not they want to buy it. Now, I'm happy to say over the years, I've been able to finally take some of the stuff off of this list and replace them because they finally added things back to the game, like assistant coaches and franchise, for example. But there's still a pretty long list of big things that still have not made their return or or have not been changed about the game and in this video we're going to go over the five biggest ones number one we have to start with create a team it's the first thing i talk about in this video every year when i do it because it's at this point the biggest thing that still is missing from the game that people have been asking for the last time we saw this in the game was madden 12 that is over 10 years at this point and it was one of the best features and most loved features about the game franchise mode gets taken to a whole nother level when you're able to create a team and kind of start your own story with them and in 2022 this has long been a staple for pretty much any other sports game out there now i know the nfl might have some hand in this in terms of some restrictions on this but as far as we know it's still something that can exist in the game but yet it doesn't and if nothing else they could at least add a bunch new relocation teams which is something they said a couple years ago that was high on their list to change and they still haven't changed that so we really are losing on both ends there now I do have a bit of a theory with NCAA dropping next year EA has kind of suggested that Madden will be able to borrow from NCAA and vice versa just like they did back in the day and I don't think they would launch an NCAA game without customization and the ability to create schools I could be wrong it is EA but launching a brand new game and having a lot of time to actually work on it I would think it's gonna have those type of features and if it does then Madden can double dip and have a created team in the game next year and they can just take what was worked on for NCAA and kind of drop that into Madden but with NFL teams. We're going to finish with the rest of the list but really quickly let's hear a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon and the Everyday Earbuds. Raycon's Everyday Earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. As you can see I have them in my ear right now. My blue pair that I've been having for a little bit and I absolutely love them. My favorite thing about them right off the bat they don't move. They stay in your ear no matter what, which is a problem I've had with plenty of other earbuds on the market. Another thing I love about Raycon's everyday earbuds is the quality. They've managed to deliver quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands out there. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. They're good. I also love the earbud design. Raycon's intelligently designed earbuds have been specifically modified through countless design iterations to seamlessly fit the curvature of the human ear, big or small, so they don't hurt after listening for for extended periods of times and the best part they don't fall out this is why i love to use them when i'm jogging working out or even playing basketball out back behind my house i also love their durability they're sweat and water resistant if you forget them outside in the rain or you accidentally drop them into a pool or puddle you'll be all right and they also offer a great battery life eight hours of playtime and 32 hour battery life on the charging case click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash rayweather to get 15 percent off of your raycon purchase with your everyday earbud purchase you get a pair of the everyday wireless earbuds plus five of the silicone gel tips to help fit in any ear plus you get the charging case for on the go charging plus one charging cable cord again click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com slash rayweather to get 15 percent off of your raycon purchase number two new announcers nope that's still not going to be making its way into madden 23 we're still going to be dealing with brandon gordon and charles davis for i don't know how many years in a row now it's, it's been quite a while this is one of the biggest areas of the game that just needs a refresh it's nothing against those guys it's just gotten a little bit stale at this point usually they would rotate announcers every few years at least but they seem to just be sticking with these guys and i understand why they do because these guys do have more availability to come in and record new lines during the nfl season so that when you're playing the game they're talking about things that are actually happening in the real life nfl season in madden which is cool but that doesn't mean you can't bring other guys on if nothing else and have maybe a rotating crew especially for people that play franchise mode that's where people get the most out of announcers anyway maybe bring in a different crew for prime time games or something just something to mix it up but no madden 23 is still gonna have the same old announcers that we've been having for many years now hey really quickly if you're new to the channel and you want to see exclusive madden Madden 23 gameplay i'm gonna have some dropping this weekend make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss those videos when they drop number three a fully controllable and customizable superstar mode that's still not returning yet in madden we still have face of the franchise which in my opinion i've said on this channel every year is probably the worst mode in the game it just hasn't quite 
really delivered in my opinion. The first year it was okay. It was the first iteration of the mode. It wasn't crazy, but it was a return to some type of a career mode. So it wasn't that bad. But ever since then, it's only really gotten worse. And this year for Madden 23, they've really kind of dialed a lot of it back. They've taken a lot of the cutscenes away, which is kind of the whole point of the mode. Even though some people don't like them, if Face of the Franchise is supposed to be a career slash story mode, then you kind of need the cutscenes. So they cut that back and they said they want you to just get to the game and play faster, which is cool. But if that's the case, you really need to go the superstar mode route and have more customization and allow people to control any player they want. You still can only control five players. And when you look back at the older games, you control any player. And that's what people want to do. Now, again, much like create a team, I do think this is one of those things that could possibly be changing next year, even more so than create a team because NCAA had a very big focus on career mode and dynasty mode that is really what drove that game more than anything else even more so than franchise or career modes do for madden and the biggest thing people like to do was to start their career in ncaa and then port that over to madden but with the current face of the franchise mode i just don't see how that's going to really intertwine like it did in the old days so in order for that to work i believe they're going to be bringing that true career mode back with ncaa and then once again madden should be able to double dip kind of take that over to madden and and now have a old superstar mode vibe return where you can control any player you have more customization maybe less cutscenes. it's more about just your player and playing the game but right now face of the franchise is kind of neither it's falling in this weird space where they've removed a lot of the story elements and want you to get to the game but they're not allowing you to control enough about your player which is what makes it not that good Number four, refs are still not in the game. Some of you probably know this by now because you've seen enough gameplay clips, but yes, refs won't be in the game. They have alluded to them finally returning maybe next year, and they said they want to make them actually look good and be more interactive, but I mean, I don't know. It depends on which side you fall on. Some people don't care at all about this. Some people think it's the biggest deal in the world. Whichever side you fall on, just know they're not going to be in Madden 23. Number five, classic teams and old school players. Now, no, I'm not talking about Ultimate Team. We know all ultimate team does have a legends program i'm talking about the offline version of the game legend players for franchise or classic teams that you can use this is also another one of those things that used to be in madden and is a staple i believe in most sports games i know nba 2k does a really good job with this and this has been a growing request over the years it's been asked about more and more but it's still not coming back to the game this year but there is an interesting thing that is coming to the game that they just revealed today. There's a legacy Madden game this year to honor John Madden. So when you start the game for the first time, you will be prompted with kind of an opening scene. We've seen this in some past Madden games where you play an opening scene. This one centered around John Madden and just some of the best players of all time. They dropped a brief clip of it today that didn't show much, but we do know John Madden will be on the sideline as a coach and you're going to hear some of his commentary in the game for this legacy playthrough and it looks like they have a lot of old school legend players so you don't have classic teams you don't have old school players that i think you can use for franchise and stuff like that but there is this thing that you will be able to play offline that i guess is the closest thing to it for the time being just thought i should let you guys know that now, if you want to see the first official Madden 23 gameplay that we got a few days ago, make sure to check out this video right here on the screen.